It's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Gonna Art family. And so, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Joker movie. If you haven't seen it already, go check it out. It's an awesome movie, and the the person who played the Joker or or author or author uh, did an amazing job with his acting. And so, I'm going to share my thoughts on a movie and how it ties into uh, mental health and also our society. So what made me strike a connection with the Joker is that his darkness, the, the darkness he was going through, and the fact that many people didn't listen to him, you know, many people wouldn't be there for him when he wanted it. He wasn't given the attention that, that he needed when he was going through that kind of a bad day. And so even when Arthur was talking to his, uh, his social worker or his counselor, even the counselor wasn't really listening to him. He even went to the uh, to, to the lengths of like talking to a receptionist, uh, and uh, the, the the guy was like, you know, this is not my job. I, I recommend you to, you know, you should talk to a social worker. But even the social work, worker wasn't wasn't helping, you know, and uh, he really wanted someone to like listen listen that would actually genuinely listen to him. And so I even see this in a real world. So I did some research on the, the suicide hotline thing because I'd always see people recommend suicide hotline when they're feeling depressed. So I wanted to see the other end of the spectrum, what the callers thought, you know, what people that were in their darkest moments that actually called the suicide hotline. How did how were their experiences, you know? And so what I got from it was that I see a lot of I see some people who were like uh, like the call the people who were supposed to help them who are supposed to help people from their darkest times, uh, I'd see them be very rude. I'd see them tell tell the callers to, like, man up or, or just forget about it or, or, or stop being depressed, uh, you know, and just not genuinely listen to what they're saying. And sometimes I, I, I saw a story that sometimes they just betray your trust, you know. Uh, the moment you call, the moment you start to feel, you start to express yourself to them, they'll automatically call the, the psych ward to get you. Or something even though they just wanted somebody to just listen to you know so and it'll be very rare it'd be rare that you do find someone who's genuine and who actually you know wants to you know listen and, and, and be there for you you know you know who, who doesn't treat who, who doesn't treat their job as if you know just collecting a paycheck but they're actually very passionate about their job of assisting you know to, to help people out of their darkness and sometimes I do see this in the real world. Uh, when I did my research on uh, the suicide hotline uh, with people, like I'd always see people that would recommend suicide hotline towards people who were feeling, you know, depression and whatnot. But now I wanted to like really see, you know, what was the side, what was the, the what was the other side of the spectrum, you know? Where are the people that actually called, you know? What what were they saying, you know? And so when I did read the comments, when I look at when I looked into the, the forums. Uh, they'd say that some of the, you get, you find very rare people that are genuine and like wanting to listen to you, but then you'll find like rude people. You will find people that just you know, that just don't like their jobs, you know. That they'll, or you just find someone that they'll, they'll just tell them, oh, just just man up, or or just you know just just forget about it, you know. You know they'll like completely deny how they're feeling at that moment, you know. So so even even calling. The hotline, the suicide hotline, isn't even good enough because, again, society doesn't really isn't doing doesn't do a, a great job in, in 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 assisting mental health. And so, abundance is our natural state, and that's shown a lot when we're children, you know. And until we're integrated into the society, which teaches us to live in this lackful mindset, so that businesses could start to sell their product, you know. So let's say you're lacking in a uh, Let's say that you have a commercial, right? You have a car commercial. They'll say that this car will make you much more of a of a man, you know, or or this beauty or this beauty product is gonna make you a lot more beautiful, as if you know the beauty doesn't already exist within you. It starts to make you feel in lack. It starts to make you feel, yeah, make you feel a lack of confidence because you don't have these external things to make you happy. You know, this is how society is teaching us to to uh, externalize our power. You know, to, to not see the abundance that already exists within us. And so when we start to live in, in lack versus abundance. So when we start to live in lack, uh, we start to develop very needed, neediness 
tendencies, very unhealthy tendencies. Uh, we start to become much more, we have more anxiety because we're, we're afraid of losing something. Uh, we have, our actions are all based on, off of fear because it's coming out of a place of lack. And we start to attract very fearful experiences. You know, we start to become, uh, It's, it, like, it starts to become a, a self-fulfilling prophecy because of all of our fears and, and lacks. A person who's in constant fear of losing his investments uh, is going to eventually end up losing his investments, investments because he's going to become is going to be coming from a place of fear. His strategy, his strategies, are going to be coming from a place of fear of loss. You know, he's going to be very worry, very careful. He's not going to be taking risks. You know, it's, it's going to be playing it safe, and it eventually is going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, likewise, if if a person were in a, in a, in a relationship, uh, uh, con if a person is constantly worrying, at, or if the person is cheating on them, you know, it's just going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy because you know you're living in that you're living in that mindset. Or oh, I don't trust this person. I don't trust this person. And you you know you can you can you can feel that energy come emanating from from that from that person or that partner that you're with. You know, and so it's just going to make you want to back away from them more, you know, and, and, and eventually that relationship is just going to end, you know. So lack can attract certain things into our life that we don't really necessarily need and abundance can attract things that are, you know, that we do need, you know, but we are, we have to remember that we're naturally abundant, you know, abundance is our natural state. It isn't until we are indoctrinated into the society that teaches us to externalize and, and, and seek something that's outside of us to complete us and so uh normally people don't see their power from within and they let society govern their their actions you know so we see this in the in the joker movie the joker was constantly being reinforced by the bad days he was having you know it was a constant loop you know it was it was a constant reinforcement in his mind that you know this society that i'm living in it's it's, it's real shitty you know and so because of that, he could not see. He could not see anything else. Like his lens was focused and honed in on one perspective, because of that constant reinforcement, that constant training, and it kept on le leading him to to lack and more lack and more lack, you know, until uh, until he started to go into his his dark state, to the point where you don't feel abundant, you know, to the point where you you start to feel lack and that you have nobody, you know, and and people can sense that and people will back away from that kind of energy. We often see this a lot on on how society treats uh, treats homeless people, you know. So, or people who complain all the time who, or people who are just constantly, who are constantly negative, you know. And so, you know, when, when, when people are constantly negative to you or bringing in bad news or talking about their issues, it, bring, it brings you to a place where... You know, you want to just be away from them, just want to stop hanging around them, you know. But at the same time, they need, they kind of do need that assistance. And they're not getting that from, if they're not getting that from society, you know, where, 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 where are, where are they getting that from, you know. So, I'd say to like set boundaries, set boundaries towards people, you know, set boundaries towards these kinds of, uh, these kinds of, uh, these kinds of negative people, you know. It, it depends though it depends if if you give them like a, a solution or you give them like like an air a hair or something like you, you give them like a step to the right direction but like they're they're not doing anything to fix their issue while you're giving them a step in the right direction then that's all on them and you should really remove yourself from that kind of energy but at the same time you should for the people that are seeking to really improve themselves, that are seeking that that help, you know, that are really dedicated, or they, they just want to feel, they just want to like uh, get out of the situation that they're in. They're they're serious about getting out of the situation that they're in. Their negative spiral. Uh, set boundaries. Set set time limits for for how much you spend time with that person because it will eventually start to affect how you feel as well. If you get too consumed with with them, you know, because at the end of the day, you know, a person who is abundant may have 
may have multiple friends, right? They may have multiple connections, right? And the person who was, who, who, for example, like author, like author, he didn't have as much people to talk to. And so when you have someone like author and he, and he finds someone that listens to him and gives him that love and attention that he, that he desires, uh, chances are a person like author will start to develop a very neediness tendency towards the person that is showing that love and affection. So you want to be able to set boundaries, you know, and be able to like teach him or teach author or teach that person how to have that abundance mindset so that they don't have to rely on you as a crutch, you know. You want to be able to train them so that they can take off those training wheels, you know. So you want to be able to like, you know, sh lead them to different directions and make them talk to different people so that they don't see you as their one and only way of you know of uh, of gaining that that attention that that love and attention and sometimes if you can't help people it's best to like lead them to a direction where they can you know so for example if you know some you know self-help youtubers or you know some uh, you know just any anything that can that can help to empower that person it's best to like link them give them the direction that they need to go so that uh, so that they, they they know what to do you know if, if they are serious on you know improving and, and, and bettering themselves you know at the end of the day our life is a choice and what we choose to focus on and, and pay attention to will will reflect what's going on with us uh, internally so you know I feel that in a, in a different parallel reality where you know if author if author did find that person to actually listen to him and if he didn't like turn into the to the joker i feel that maybe he could have been someone who 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 helps people through through depression and an actual good good uh, self-help improvement teacher you know maybe author could have been someone like that because you know he he's been through that experience he's, he's been through the darkness so he's much more credible of teaching other people how to get through through that darkness if if that happened if that parallel reality existed if author if author like you know you know uh overcame that that darkness but in a sense it it, it went it went on to consume him and then he later on became the joker and one thing i one extra thing i'd like to note is that when mentors give you things when mentors give you advice or even when you're get, getting advice from me i'm giving you uh advice as to what what has helped me along my journey you know this this life thing is an ongoing thing everyone is everyone is discovering everyone is is, is learning new things you know it's an ongoing thing you know so you know every mentor they're just teaching you about you know their experiences and what has helped them you know get out of that darkness you know so i feel that let's say uh, author let's say the joker was 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 uh, encountered somebody who was similar to him you know like uh, if the joker encountered someone who was similar to him having like similar bad days similar bad issues i'm uh, sure the joker would sympathize with that person i'm sure however the the joker would do something that has helped him along his journey which was to let the, that darkness engulf you, you know, and then, you know, the, the person who is, uh, who is, who is, who's suffering will start to follow and, and see that, see that Joker as, as a mentor, because, you know, you know, this is, this is what has helped Joker along his journey, you know what I'm saying? So even though it may not be as a, as, as a beneficial or very, uh, you know, not, not not so positive to, to, to walk that path of the of, of the Joker. It, it is what it is. You know this is what what has helped Joker along his journey. You know society has has uh, has really you know society has really crushed him to the person that he is today. You know and so at the same time you know you can it's all a choice at the end of the day. As 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 I mentioned before the the parallel reality. Although society may be crushing you at this moment. You know, you can you can choose to transform that into a much more, much more beneficial, much more beneficial reality for you. And remember that you know, with the internet, there's so much uh, self-help out there. 
uh, so much self-help information in it and if you apply it I feel that it will really uh, help to just improve your life in general you know and so one thing to remember is that you cannot help everybody there are some people on this earth that are forever traumatized by how society has treated them that they're so in the darkness that they, they won't be able to change their programming you know you don't have to help everyone you know just do something that will uh, and if you do want to help do something that will aid the evolution of mankind in your own style you know that can be learning how to act you know that can be you becoming an actor if it wasn't for uh, the person the, the person who played the Joker I mean, if it wasn't for his acting I'm sure the, the movie w wouldn't be as powerful you know it could be from acting it could be towards acting it could be a, be uh, becoming a writer to inspire others it can be through uh, becoming any, any sorts of a musician you know it can be that uh, you, can, you can be an artist a, a storyteller you know anything it can be anything you know that can help to influence and inspire other people that that's you doing your part to aid in the evolution of mankind and so in the film uh there was this part in the in the lyrics that said some people get their kicks from stomping on other people's dreams you know so even in in this world that we're living in we, you know haters do exist and at the same time you just have people that just that just use you you know they don't they don't generally care about you they may just ask you for favors only that's that would be the only way the only reason they, they contact you, you know and then sometimes you you'd get people that you know they they say oh you can you can contact me anytime if you're if you're having an issue but when that issue does arise and you do contact that person they they suddenly just don't want to help you know and then you start to feel a little bit betrayed so I just feel it's important to find that abundance from within and so author or the Joker went through a similar experience when he was when he was talking or having a conversation with uh, with a, a talk show host you know but I won't spoil you know go go watch the movie it's an, it's an amazing movie you know there's a reason why it's so it's so uh, it, it's sparking so much uh, debate in our society today you know so yeah watch the movie it's, it's amazing uh, and also yeah that'll be real thank you guys for watching uh, feel free to comment what you, what your thoughts are and peace out.